Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Angi, and in today's video, I am going to be sharing with you my luxury wish list for 2022. I know it's a little bit late for this video, I wanted to film it a few months ago, but I couldn't do it because I had a lot of work and personal stuff that I had been going on lately. So uh, today I finally have a little bit of time to film this video and share this luxury wish list with you guys. Also have some things that I already got from my wish list, so I'm going to be revealing here on this video and also in um, other videos in the future. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Well, I'm gonna divide it by brands because I think that's the easier way to do it. So I'm gonna start with Louis Vuitton. So as for Louis Vuitton, I have a few things on my wish list. So I'm gonna start with a bag. This bag, it's so, so beautiful. It's the capucins in the mini size, I love it. I do have a capucins in the BB size, but I still think it's a little bit big for my frame and you know how much I love um, mini bags so this one is just so so beautiful the color is amazing i just absolutely love it and i think it's very very special next um i want i want to add to my wish list um scarf um this scarf since i saw it i fell in love with it but at that time i didn't pull the trigger and it was discontinued so i had to um look for it in the pre-loves uh route and i was very lucky to find one so here i have it you guys i got this a few months ago and i actually used it that during the winter uh, now we are almost in the summer time but i absolutely love it the colorway is just so beautiful this beige with silver hardware i do own another uh logo mini scarf with the in the brown with like gold i love the metallic threads and i think it's so so beautiful so this one i was very lucky to find it and yeah this is an item that i already checked from my list and i absolutely love it i think it's a perfect scarf for every winter and it's a classic and i have the horizon in the size 50 i've been wanting this uh, piece for the longest time so it's still on my wish list so let's see if this year i can get one and i would also like to add the i think it's like a hook that you put on on the luggage to uh, hand your bag so i think this is a great piece and uh, yeah hopefully this year i can travel more and i can add this beautiful piece to my collection so these pair of earrings i love them since the very first time i saw them it was love at first sight guess what guys i got them i'm going to show them to you of course i already use them and this is not an unboxing it's just a reveal but they are so so damn beautiful i just love them and here they are super super cute and i absolutely love the way they look on such a statement piece and i love them so yeah this my essay is amazing she always finds things for me and i'm very happy to have her as my essay okay so let's move on um i thought i was uh i was done with a monogram bags but they just released the new Neo Noe Nano. It's just amazing. I don't know if I'm gonna be adding this one to my collection, but it's so, so cute, so classic. I love it. Uh, since the very first time I saw it, I fell in love with it. It was love at first sight. So yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be adding this one to my collection, but it is definitely on my wish list. Next on, uh, I have a Louis Vuitton belt that it's been catching my eye. I love it. It has like a new buckle uh, that I really, really like. Um, I don't know, it's gonna, it, it's too repetitive because I already own the Dauphine belt. It is in the reverse monogram, and but I love the buckle and I love it is um, reversible. So, you know guys that I love belts. So this one is also on my wish list. Don't know if I'm gonna be adding it. Next on, another pair of earrings. These earrings, I just love them. I've been eyeing this, well, I, I saw this design since it was released and never catch my eye. But these ones in all gold, I just love them. I got them as well. I just love, love, love these earrings. Actually, I've been using them tons, seriously. I think such a statement piece, but it's very subtle. I mean, if you don't really know the brand, you wouldn't know that these are from Louis Vuitton. I just absolutely love how they look on. Like, they are edgy. They look like spikes, a little bit edgy. Yeah, I, I just love the vibe. And they only have... A little LV that it's I don't know if you can see but I love the 
engravement they have, like the mirror. I don't know, I just love that they are all gold. And these earrings, when I don't know what to wear or when I want something subtle but a statement piece, these are my go-to earrings. So let's move on to Chanel. Okay, so as for Chanel, I really, really, really want to add a chain belt to my collection. I haven't been lucky. Um, and also I am the smallest size, like 70 or even smaller. So the one that my SA had was in an 80 size. So it was just too big for me, it wouldn't work. So I'm waiting for the perfect chain belt. For me, I don't know if I'm gonna get it brand new or maybe from the pre-love route. But yeah, that is one thing that I want from Chanel. The next thing that I want from Chanel, and I've been wanting it for the longest time, it's the Claire Beige, uh classic flap in caviar with gold hardware. I think that's super classic. Uh, I do have my iridescent Chanel classic flap. So I thought this bag was going to replace my craving for the uh, Chanel Claire Beige, but I still want that bag. This one is gorgeous. Don't get me wrong, it is the iridescent beige. It's a little bit lighter, and this one has light gold hardware. This one is very, very special and I love it, but I do still want to add the classic beige color to my collection. Next, I want to add another Chanel 19 because I've been loving my Chanel 19 bags. I've been using them nonstop. I think it's the perfect everyday bag. They are carefree. I love the slouchy um, feeling, the squishy, I, I just love it. And I wanted to add the Chanel 19 in the 21 uh, caramel color. Uh, I did find one, found one, uh, from a fellow Instagrammer that I love, a friend of mine in Instagram, uh, but I wasn't lucky enough. Told me she knew another person who was uh, another lady who was selling a 21k. That's the one, the same color. Um, and actually, I I went and bought this bag from this lady. But uh, long story short, it was it was just a nightmare because um, the package was lost she was kind enough to uh, refund the money so that's that was you know a good thing of course and then i actually found another reseller uh who had one in the 21p caramel i wanted to buy that one because it was the the, the price was, was higher but i was willing to pay the overpriced because i really really wanted this bag uh but I had to wait for the money to go to my bank account and it didn't happen until 40 days later. So the bag that I found from this other reseller was um, sold. Uh, actually, I totally recommend this reseller. It's um, Ready Looks. It's so, so good. They have the most amazing selection of bags. And I, I mean, she's so gorgeous and she's so, so sweet. Uh, but I couldn't find that bag. And I had the time to think it very, very well. I do own a 21p caramel in the mini square my heart sinks every time i see it but i was like okay i already have this one and i started to think that maybe in the chanel 19 it was like a lot of caramel because the size is bigger so i don't know i just had the time to think about it and i decided that i prefer to have the chanel 19 in the black color because i think it's a perfect everyday bag and perfect for traveling as well because you can dress it up or dress it down and it can hold a lot of things uh so yeah, I decided to change uh, the color on my wish list. So now I also saw these sunnies. I fell in love with them. Since the very first time I saw them, I was looking for them with my essays and they didn't have it in store. Uh, but I actually was lucky enough to get them and I'm gonna unbox them here with you. Well, reveal here with you. And here they are. These are the Chanel Sunnies that I totally fell in love with. They have this leather detail, which is absolutely gorgeous, and they are totally my style. I absolutely love these. And yeah, I was super lucky to find them because I tried with different essays I, and they didn't get them in the store. They got the, the ones with the chains, um, they were uh, well the shape was different but they were insanely um expensive in my opinion so that one is another thing that i added to my wish list and i got already then um yeah i have another unboxing or reveal from chanel so here it is of course i couldn't wrap it very beautifully but i tried 
So, oh my God, I'm super excited. This bag was actually the only bag that caught my attention from the 22S collection. Uh, of course, there are other bags that are super beautiful, but this one, oh my God, this one was the one I fell in love with. And here it is. Do you have any guesses, guys? Please comment in the section below if you know what I got. Oh my God, I just love this bag so, so, so much. I think this is a funky town or something like that. I don't know the, the name of it, but look how gorgeous. I saw this on the runway in like a pink color and I, I thought it was super cute and beautiful, but not my colors, you know? But when I saw that they had this one in beige, actually I wanted it also in white because I don't own white bag. But when I saw it in, in person, I thought it was like too white, you know? I prefer enough white and I didn't like it that much. It, it didn't make my heart sing and it was a bigger size. This one is a mini size. It doesn't hold much. I'm gonna be doing a video showing you how much this one holds if you are interested in, but I absolutely love it. It's super, super cute. Um, I absolutely love the chunky chain. Look at the details. It has little CCs all over the chain. It's so, so, so beautiful. The color is amazing. It's different shade from what I have in my collection. You know how much I love beiges and um, brown colors. But this one is super, super cute. I just love the chain. You can only use it as a shoulder bag, but it's super, super cute. And uh, yeah, this one has like a bigger CC than the regular knees and it's definitely thinner, so it holds less. And here it is from the inside. It only has a slip pocket here. This one is made in Italy and this one has the chip here so yeah i am very very glad i was able to find this one actually i wanted the small size not the mini don't get me wrong i love the mini but the small size holds a little bit more so i thought it was going to be more convenient but you know i felt the fomo of this bag so i only could find it in the mini size and i think it looks great on my frame it holds uh the essentials so it's okay and I do love this bag so much. What do you guys think? Uh, I fell in love with this one, actually. So, yeah, guys. I am so, so happy with my new purchase and my new baby. And, yeah, let's move on to our mask. You know how much I love belts, but I think I want something thinner and, you know, very dainty to use with dresses or um, something that I can wear on my waist. Uh, yeah, so these are the belts and the buckles that I like from Hermes. And of course, I still waiting for my Kelly 25 in the Etope color, in the Retourne with uh, gold hardware. Hopefully, hopefully I can get it this year because I've been wanting this bag for the longest time. And sadly, my Hermes is a left Hermes. I think he went to another brand to work. I have a new essay now. She's very nice, but seriously, my, my previous essay, he was amazing. I mean, he was best. I could uh, get my bags through him in a shorter time. I am waiting for this bag. This is the one that I'm focusing in because I really do want to add this Kelly to my collection. And another bag that I would like to add, of course, I would like to add a lot of bags from Hermes, but the mini Kelly, I just love it. The one that I have, I, I, I just love it. I think it fits my essentials. I don't carry much things in my bags and I love it. It's super lightweight. I love the look of it. It's super cute and I would like to add it in Cabraccio color. So hopefully I can get one. And yeah, that would be all uh, from Hermes right now. And let's move on to Cartier. So as for Cartier, I do have on my wish list the Panther watch. Um, I really like this watch in gold. I also want the love bracelet and the Justin Club bracelet in the regular sizes, not the thin one, just the regular one. I think that would be everything for my wish list for 2022. I know it's a very ambitious wish list. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing to my channel and uh, yeah guys, please give a thumbs up and see you to my next one. Bye guys.